you're thinking about moving to the Bay Area, there are some things you might wanna know. I've lived here for 14 years and I'm gonna discuss about 10 things that you should think about before moving here. The nature and outdoor activities here are incredible. Take mountain biking, for example. The local trails are amazing. You can ride through the redwoods at Joaquin Miller. At Pacifica, you have ocean views and a varied terrain. Downeyville, about three and a half hours away in the Sierras, is some of the best mountain biking in the country. There's also North Star, a Lake Tahoe resort. It has a chairlift mountain bike park in the summer. One of my favorite things to do is to go skydiving. And many places around the US, the drop zone shut down in the winter because it's too cold. Luckily here, you can skydive all year round. There's such a variety of outdoor activities here. There is truly something for everyone. We have ocean activities, surfing, kiteboarding, sailing, woods activities, hiking, backpacking. And Lake Tahoe and Yosemite are only three hours away. Maybe you want to just relax outside and not do a strenuous activity. Napa and Sonoma are in North Bay and have over 800 wineries to choose from. You can go whale watching in Monterey. Being outside year round is one of the best parts about living here. If you wanna learn even more about nature in the Bay Area, go ahead and give me a call. Shoot me an email. My information is in the description below. The weather here is very moderate and doesn't get below freezing anywhere. However, the heat varies quite a bit depending on where you are. We have microclimates here and the temperature within San Francisco itself can vary by seven to 10 degrees, which is pretty unusual because the city is only seven miles wide. Once you go further away from the coast, the differences get even more extreme. So it's not uncommon for it to be 65 inside San Francisco and 95 in parts of the East Bay. Traffic can be really bad here, especially during rush hours. Once you live here, you learn to avoid the big commuting hours whenever possible. Taking public transportation is almost always better during high traffic hours. There's traffic inside the city to get from one side to the other. There's traffic outside the city. When you're going through different subregions of the Bay Area, you're pretty likely to run into traffic at some point. The cost of living and housing prices here are very high. You probably already knew that, but it's worth noting that it's not just the housing prices, it's also just everything. Just going to a restaurant to grab a sandwich or a salad usually costs over $20. The flip side of that is there are way more opportunities to make a lot of money. There are tons of high paying jobs out here. I've seen a lot of my friends go from making okay salaries to very high salaries, higher than anywhere else that they could be making in the world working the same job. A lot of people that live here are not from here. I would say it's a city that's very welcoming to new people. If you're worried about moving here from somewhere else and not knowing anyone, just know a lot of people are in that situation too. The food here is ridiculously good. There's so many options of so many different types of cuisines. It's not only good in restaurants, but we have access to such a wide range of local ingredients grown here in California. And we also have a very diverse population, so ingredients are imported from all over the world. Whether you're shopping at a grocery store or a farmer's market, you're likely to find all the ingredients you need for any recipe. So you've probably seen on the news that the Bay Area suffers from crime, drug, and that there's a homelessness problem. That is true and the media sensationalizes it. There is a huge discrepancy between reading about the Bay Area and headlines and actually living here. Yes, those problems are real, but they're mostly concentrated in specific downtown areas and you don't run across them nearly as much in the neighborhoods. A lot of people that were living in the neighborhoods and commuting to downtown are actually just spending more time in their neighborhoods. So in my opinion, the neighborhoods have gotten even better than they were before COVID, but downtown definitely hasn't bounced back yet. For me, even when downtown was thriving, the neighborhoods were always more appealing, especially in San Francisco where each neighborhood has its own vibe and feel. That's what gives the city its unique character more so than the office buildings downtown. The school system. Trying to cover the entire school systems of the entire Bay Area is not gonna work in this video, but I will say in San Francisco, there's a lottery system that definitely irritates people. Just because you live in a specific neighborhood doesn't mean your child is gonna go to the school in that neighborhood. How it works is you put your top choices and then you're put into a lottery system so your child could end up going to a school across town. Um, it's one of those things that the idea is good at trying to make the schools more equitable, but in practice, it just ends up in a logistical nightmare. And there's even San Francisco public school coaches that kind of help you get your child into the school that they want using the tips and tricks of the lottery system. It's complicated. 
a lot of people end up putting their children in private school or moving to North or East Bay where the school systems are a little bit more predictable. Earthquakes are a concern out here. So while they are very infrequent, they can be devastating and we are long overdue for an earthquake on the Hayward Fault. One thing you can do is get your house seismically retrofit. That makes your house more stable and more secure in an earthquake. And you might think, wow, that sounds super expensive, like hundreds of thousands of dollars. But in most cases, it's usually like 10 to $20,000. There's obviously exceptions based on a number of different factors. I'm not a structural engineer, but it is more affordable than most people think. Moving to a new city and or buying a house can be an overwhelming process. There's tons of things to think about. I do this all day long. Let me help you break it into manageable pieces and feel good about your decision. Give me a call. My contact information is in the description below. If you wanna see a video of the entire Bay Area, watch this video here. And if you wanna see the differences between living in San Francisco and Oakland, watch this video here. See you next time.